Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Uwari National Forest. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll leave the actual spelling down below so you guys can correct me because I'm sure it is not Uwari, but that's what I'm gonna go with. And we are actually camping. Let me show you right back that way is where we are camping and I will take you down there to show you the campsite. This is a, another free campsite and of course I will leave the uh, GPS coordinates down below. This campsite is located kind of in the middle of North Carolina, about a two hour drive from Raleigh. So it's a really peaceful, quiet, there's only one other tent here at this moment in time and let me take you guys around and show you the campsite. Oh, but before I do that, this is actually, well, uh, not a lot of people camp here. People do actually come here for hiking. And there is, there you go, right there. So if you come here, there is a lot of camping that is available. Um, and this I actually think would be RV okay. Um, smaller RVs, maybe even a small motorhome could fit back here. So let me show you around the campsite. Okay, so in this campground there is about eight picnic tables and um, there's plenty of pull-off spots probably for RVs. If you look Back over there where the truck is parked you will see the um, bathrooms which actually are very nice um, I haven't been around a free camping area that has bathrooms that nice it's a single stall um, but it does look like it is well kept for the area there is also if you look this way over where Drew is there are small trash receptacles so you do not have to pack everything out which again is um, a novelty I believe Jefferson National Forest was the only one we've been to that you can pack it out the sites are very big. You can choose one from in the sun if you're camping here in the winter time or, you know, in the shade if you're camping here in the summertime. Um, there are uh, grills available for cooking food. However, a lot of the campsites also have these fire rings here. Um, and I personally use those because I'm used to camping over an open fire, but it is nice to have the grill as well. So, what do you think of this campground? Nice. You know, very secluded. It is very secluded. There is a dirt road, which I will show you guys at the end of this. Um, it, it does not have any potholes on it. It is very easily to drive up here. So even if you're pulling a small trailer or you're driving a small um, RV up here, you shouldn't have any difficulty. The trails here look to be very nice there. Um, we haven't gone camping on them yet, I'll be honest. But it's through a very nice wooded area. Make sure you bring your bug spray again. So let me show you the road coming in. Okay, this is the road to come in behind me. It is gravel. There's not a lot of potholes as you can see. And then if you are pulling in and it's full, there is an area over here where you can pull out and probably park your RV if you bring it too big. And then down this road, is more hiking. So uh, this is the Yates place. Um, let's see here if you can see right there it's the Yates place campground and I would say I would definitely stay here again. Very pretty, very secluded. If you were looking for a place where not a lot of people know about it, this is it. Okay, one last thing before I go. We also have a lot of, if you see here, this says East Morris Mountain Campground, West Morris Mountain Campground, and this is down here is Yates Place. So again, if you come here and it is full, you do have other choices. So this is posted at the beginning. They do not have a stay limit posted for most national forests. It is a 14 day stay limit. 
However, I will verify that and let you know in the description below. Oh, hold on. Yep, Drew just showed it to me right here. 14 day stay limit. It is posted. It's just really small where I didn't read it. So you guys, it is beautiful. Try this out. You won't regret it.